हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू शिव ज्योति एजुकेशनल ग्रुप कोटा माय सेल्फ जिज्ञासा प्रजापति प्रेजेंटिंग हेयर क्लास थर्ड कंप्यूटर साइंस वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑफ चैप्टर थर्ड कीबोर्ड स्टूडेंट्स ओपन चैप्टर थर्ड इन योर कंप्यूटर बुक एट पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अप डेफिनेशन ऑफ की बोर्ड एल्फाबैट कीज नंबर कीज एंड सम ऑफ स्पेशल कीज सो स्टूडेंट्स our first topic is definition what is the keyboard a keyboard is an input device students we have seen keyboard in the computer system this is the image of keyboard you can see it has many keys on it okay every key has different functionality most keyboards are called qwerty keyboards this name comes from the first letters on the top row of the alphabet keys c student these are the alphabet keys which are present on the middle of the keyboard okay and you can see this is a top row of the alphabet keys which has keys q w e r t y that's why it is called the qwerty keyboard okay next we have alphabet key they are marked with letters a to z and 26 in number you can see these are the alphabet keys present on your keyboard these keys are used to input words letters and sentences next we have number keys the number keys are marked with letters 0 to 9 and 10 in number so we have total 10 numbers key on our keyboard they are placed at the top of the alphabet keys so these are the numbers keys 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 so these are total 10 keys and these keys are used to input the number in the computer next the number keys are also present in the numeric keyboard see this is your numeric keyboard which is present on the right side of your keyboard apart from the number keys the numeric keyboard has some other keys like num lock key this is your num lock key enter key this is your enter key the num lock key is pressed to on or off the numeric keyboard by default your numeric keypad is off okay to turn off the to turn on the functionality of the numeric keypad you just press the num lock key which is this okay so by pressing the num lock key you can activate the numeric keypad next key special keys these special keys are used to perform a special kind of function in the keyboard first special key is space bar it is the longest key on the keyboard it gives a space between two letters words and numbers student this space bar key is used to put single character space between the two letters words and numbers so this is your space bar key next special key is tab key this key allows the cursor to jump five steps forward okay this is your tab key and we use tab key to enter the five character space in your text okay now we will see the practical of these special keys here you can see this is a keyboard on screen keyboard by using the on screen keyboard we will see the practical of space bar key and the tab key see this is your space bar key okay here we have typed some text for processor okay now put the cursor here and press the space bar key see it create a single character space in the text same as you can see the practical of the tab key this is your tab key students okay now place the cursor here between the word and press the tab key you can see this is the this tab key create the five character space in your text okay now we will move to our next special keys next special key is back space key this key is this key is used to erase characters one by one to the left of the cursor it means first you have to place the cursor at the position where you want to erase the where you want to erase the character so what is the important thing this 
बैक स्पेस की इरेज द कैरेक्टर फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट ओके फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द कर्सर नेक्स्ट वी हैव डिलीट की दिस की इज यूज टू इरेज कैरेक्टर्स वन बाय वन टू राइट ऑफ द कर्सर ओके सो दिस इज अ मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बैक स्पेस की एंड द डिलीट की डिलीट की इरेज द कैरेक्टर फ्रॉम द राइट साइड ऑफ द कर्सर एंड your back space key raise the character from the left side of cursor okay now we will see the practical of back space key and the delete key here i have type a text computer science now we will see how the back space key work okay here you can see this is my cursor now i press the back space key you can see this back space key erase the cursor from the left side of the cursor okay this is the cursor and this is the left side of cursor again okay so this back space key remove or erase the character one by one from the left side of the cursor now we will see the practical of delete key okay so again we have to place the cursor at the position this is the cursor position now i will press the delete key where is the delete key students see this is your delete key okay so when we press the delete key this delete key erase the character one by one from the right side of the cursor so this is your cursor and this is the right side of the cursor now press this okay you can see our uh, right side of the character has been erased again okay now we will move to our next special key next special key is enter key This key is used to move the cursor to the next new line. A keyboard usually has two enter keys. Students, if you have seen your keyboard, you can find two enter keys on your keyboard. So this is the enter key. Next key is caps lock key. This key is used to type the letters in upper case. Okay, so if you want to type your letter in the upper case or capital, then you have to press the caps lock key. To activate caps lock key, we press it once. Okay. So if you want to capitalize your letter or you want to change your letter in the upper case, you just have to press the caps lock key. Now we will see the practical of enter key and the caps lock key. Students, here I have type computer. Okay. Now we will see the practical of enter key. See, this is your enter key, and when we press the enter key, it move the cursor into the new next line. Okay. So here you can see the position of cursor when i press the enter key the position of cursor will become in the new line okay so now cursor you can see the cursor in the new line now we will see the practical of next key which is a caps lock key okay for this i have to type some text here okay you can see this is in the lower case if i have pressed here caps lock you can see student this subject is typed in the upper case letters okay so by using the caps lock key by pressing the caps lock key you can change the text or character in the upper case letters students i hope you have understood the keyboard keys some special keys number keys and alphabet keys remaining special keys we will discuss in the next video of this chapter thank you students have a nice day